Hey everyone, happy Friday. Um, today I want to talk more about posture and mind-body awareness because I think a lot of the times um, in today's society we're sitting so much and we sit and we're so, um, so much passive intakers of information. So that puts us in a place where our posture and our breathing and our mind-body connection is shot. So today I want to kind of talk about how to kind of activate your core and use that as the foundation of how you move through space safely, decrease inflammation, and regain a sense of control, balance, and strength, and flexibility, and stability back into your body. And it feels amazing when you're able to move pain-free, ultimately. So sitting nice and tall, let's go ahead and roll our shoulders up and back. As you inhale your shoulders up and back, just to kind of bring awareness to our body, inhale up and back. Oftentimes, recognizing that our shoulders are forward because everything in life happens in front of us. And I, so I say our spine is flexed, belly is pooched out, we have no um, awareness to the body. So that kind of puts us in a state of, well, very acidic state really and inflammatory. So I want you to learn to engage your core, to have your spine sit on your pelvis perpendicular and then have perfect posture with core stabilization so that you can function optimally. That's the goal. So I want you to place your hands from your thumb to index finger around your rib cage. And let's take a deep breath in through our nose and feel the rib cage expand, filling our lungs with air, oxygen. And as you exhale, I want you to exhale out like your Darth Vader, like fogging a mirror nice and slow. <sighs> You should feel the rib cage contracting and all the obliques and intercostals kind of contracting down. And as you do that, I don't want you to feel like you have to flex your spine and bring your shoulders forward, but stay nice and long in the spine. Just allow the activation of your muscles in your core, okay? Take a deep breath in, expand your rib cage and exhale through your mouth. All the way down calmly feeling the contraction of your ribs so inhalation your ribs contract exhalation they come together and really contract and as they do that you're gonna feel a gentle tautness under the rib cage and then feel your spine nice and tall if you're not feeling that you're probably not doing it correctly okay one more time take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. So avoid flexing in your spine, stay nice and long, feeling the activation of your core. Okay, now that we know how to engage that core, we're gonna go ahead and come onto our backs and I'm gonna show you some things that you can do on your back to uh, keep um, your core active. So lie on your back, and it's gonna be a different experience now that you're on your back up, uh, you're not uh, with the pull of the gravity. So place your hands around your um, rib cage, inhale, arch your back, and as you do so, you're gonna feel your pelvis tilt forward, right, or towards the ceiling, and then exhale, doing the same thing. <sighs> Breathe out through your mouth, fogging a mirror, keep breathing, navel to the spine, really contract through the ribs and push the small of your back down on the mat. Make sure your glutes or your cheeks are not over firing. Ready? Inhale, arch your back and then exhale, roll all the way down and shift back and make sure the shoulder girdle or shoulder muscles are relaxed. All you're feeling is the tautness here in the core. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Pull everything in and contract your core. Let's bring our feet together, and we're gonna learn how to move our legs or hips through the core activation. So with inhalation, you're gonna go ahead and 
bring your knees apart, arch your back, and then exhale. <sighs> pull the knees together, pull the navel to the spine. Good. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, pull down and in. <sighs> All the way down and pull in. And inhale. And exhale. <sighs> all the way down. So I want you to learn that you can move your hip muscles with the core stability or core control because really the foundation of your house should be your core allowing our limbs to move. And I want you to keep doing that until you feel like, okay, I'm moving my hips. I need stability from my core to enable movement or safe movement into our hips. And that helps a lot because our low back tends to be intimate with our hips and pelvis. So the stronger your core is supporting your movement into your hips, the, the healthier your spine is going to be through your low back, which is at the base, up to the thoracic spine, which is your mid back, and then of course your cer cervical spine, which is your neck muscles, okay? Now we're going to use our arms. Keeping your feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna go ahead and inhale your arms all the way down, arching your back, same thing. Doing almost like a sit up or core activation through your arms. <sighs> Bring arms all the way down, really connect with your core. And inhale, and exhale. <sighs> all the way down, and inhale. And exhale. Pull down. And inhale. And exhale. All the way down. So today I want you to just play with those motions. Understand that all our limbs, whether it be our arms or your legs, whether you're enjoying a yoga class or a Pilates class or even a CrossFit or a boot campy class, I want you to always learn to engage the core in a way that supports the spine, which means the spine should be always perpendicular to your pelvis, right? So avoid skewing or leaning to one side, always bring awareness to your core. And you can do that by having your hands around your rib cage, making sure that they stay active without flexing of the spine, shoulders rolling forward. Always remember the nice tall spine provides you with nice stability through your core to give you decompression in the low back. So as long as you remember those principles, you'll have a safe yoga practice. I hope that helped. Please leave me comments. I would love to hear from you. And as you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dr. Connie Jian. I have various channels where you can join me on social media, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook at Lupus Rebel. And I show up every Friday for Q and A's as well as yoga or movement as medicine or using movement as um, a specialty to heal or a modality to heal. So I hope that helped and I'll see you guys next week.